What's up, everybody? Uh, how y'all doing? Is anybody out there? Uh, just wiping off that there good old... Wiping off the good old lens, everybody. Oh, man, it is a... Um, it is a day, let me tell you. A wet day, but you know, wet days are kind of fun because it brings out some of our critters here. They enjoy it. Uh, let's say hello to everybody, though. Reptile Boy, what up? What up? No Cal Kid 24, Subhan Ahmad, Armando, Tom Subtle, Herptile Haven, Ghost Cat. I'm saying hello to all of you. Uh, how's everyone's week going, man? Hope everyone's doing well. I am, uh, I'm doing well. It's a good old Thursday, which means it's time for us to hang out and talk a little bit. Uh, we're going to get up and I'll move around uh, some, so don't worry. There's going to be turtles in this live, but I like to chat with everybody, see what y'all are up to, and uh, just fill you in on the uh, comings and goings, uh, if you will. So uh, there you go. Jane Clark, how do you like it? Shout out for you. All right. Uh, do Henson, my week's good, man. Tall Traveler, always good to see you online, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, man, it's raining a bit here. Uh, those from the from the uh, good old British Isles. I just saw some from Wales. It rains there a lot. Uh, but, yeah, man, I'm hanging out, and uh, we've had a pretty exciting week. Um, Scotty Cramner uh, came on over and uh, came and visited me, and we got a slew of new animals from Scotty. Uh, he could no longer care for them up home. He felt like they were getting big and he wanted them to have the best possible life. So he literally jumped in his car from New Jersey and drove all the way down here, guys. It was nuts. Uh, they were here all day yesterday. We had some good times. So Scotty filmed for his videos and his channel. That's Scotty Cramner. You can check it out. It'll probably air, uh, go online tomorrow. Uh, so we got some really beautiful animals from him, uh, that are now going to live here at my house. And I think you guys will see them soon. Uh, and then, uh, what else do we got, man? Oh, I'm trying to think what else we got going on. Uh, well, uh, we had, oh, I got another cool animal, but I can't tell you. You'll have to watch Sunday's video, uh, because that's the subject of Sunday's video. It's an unboxing video, and uh, I think you guys will like that one. Uh, what's up, Francisco from Portugal? Turtle Girl, how you doing? Uh, so, uh, everyone's saying hello to each other. That's cool. Uh, what's that? Reptile Kyle says, I've always been a snake person. Found your page about two months ago. You convinced me to buy, uh, buy my first yellow foot. Now I'm going to start raising turtles and tortoises. Ah, very cool, man. Thank you for coming on over and watching. I am, uh, let's see, why? Uh, we did a whole thing on yellow foots this week. Uh, so that was pretty rad. So I think you guys will dig it. If you haven't already, check that out. Um, let's see, I live in Iceland. It's raining here too. Wow, sunny XX in Iceland. How incredible. I'd love to go to Iceland and just see it. I hear it's a magnificent uh, country, and um, I would definitely want to go there. A little cold, but uh, I'll dress warm. Uh, and in the meantime, what do we got here? Um, some more folks hanging out. I'm lazy, huh? These last lives, I've been lazy. I've been sitting down. Uh, Judy Polanco is from Long Island. Very good. So am I. We're going to flip it and see who's out and about. Uh, let's see. So let's see. Right here, this is my little patio. Oh, look. How's that? This little booger, I throw pellets down, and uh, this little Chinese box turtle's kind of out and about, uh, just scavenging for the pellets. Uh, they always come out and are active, much like our box turtles. When it rains, these little guys come on out, and uh, they get to doing what they got to do. So that's pretty neat. Um, pretty stoked on these little guys. And what else? Let's go find some more turtles that have been wandering around because of the rain. There's some pellets right there. I had a, a adult female Chinese box turtle. She was kind of out and about too. But um, I don't know if she kind of went back. Is she gone back in to a little hiding area? I wouldn't think so because these guys like to be active. Let's see. Let's see. And as I'm walking, I'll be talking to you folks. Um, I really love the Aquascape Pond because the internet's so good here. And I think it's an interesting place to kind of hang out. Uh, the banana plants are doing well. All this rain I'm excited about, guys, because if you think things have grown nicely in the last few months since the pond was made, wait until we get some rain. Uh, all this is just going to be incredible. Uh, it's going to be really nuts. Uh, it's raining in Jersey, too, huh? Crazy. Um, where did everyone go? I think they, I, they were all out here doing stuff. And as soon as I go live, they get, they get uh, stage fright and they disappear. Um, anyway, 
We'll cruise on back over. Yeah, Joe, let's see. Tall Traveler Joey, the king of DIY, mentioned in his last live stream, he pronounced my name Keenan. Yeah, well, everyone does. Uh, he and I are hopefully going to be doing something this August. I'm excited to meet him, uh, pick his brain. Really talented guy. How about a little Darth Maul babies, everyone? Here's some Darth Maul babies just enjoying a little sprinkle. Looking beautiful, don't you think? Uh, so I'm pretty. It's not raining in Wales. Insane. My nephew's mother was from Cardiff, Wales. Uh, my nephew, Kieran, he's of Welsh descent. And he lived in Wales for many years. So there you go. Uh, but look at this. Let's get, let's show you these Darth Maul eyes, everybody. Let's see. Look at the eyes on those. These are the Darth Maul uh, Hypo Cherry Head Mix. And you can see it has the eyes uh, that we definitely love. Let's see how this one's doing. Are they beautiful or what? And then there are two more hanging about under that little rock. So, okay. Never rains in the south coast of New South Wales and Australia. I got to get there, people. I got to get to Australia. Oh, here's another Chinese boxy coming back out to see what's going on. I love the rain because it really does, you know, the turtles get active. Um, check this fake rock out, everyone. This is a cool little rock that I got at my uh, local gardening center years ago. But look, I made a hole in it, so now it's a giant cage. And what do we have here? A Bufo Marinus. Uh-oh. Let's get rid of this guy because I don't want them to spawn. Oh, I don't want these guys to spawn in my uh, pond. So usually, guys, to be honest, I, uh, I kill them because they're non-native and I just don't want them here. But... Um, I'm not going to do that now. He's a lucky dude. I hate having to do it. I really, really hate having to, um, you know, euthanize those guys because they are invasive and they get a lot of, uh, they're eating a lot of our native uh, tree frogs and our native frogs and they're out competing them. So it's a bummer. Uh, okay. So what else is going on? Oh, you know what else is going on? Are you ready for this? We're flipping again. Let's go inside. Let's go inside because I want to show you guys a little bit. And then I'll sit down and I promise that I will do, um, it's going to be echoey guys, sorry. Uh, I will do some question and answer for you folks, okay? So the room's a mess. Sorry about that. Um, as you see, I unboxed something. So tune in someday to see what I unboxed. Uh, I've been sending out tortoises. Here are some little, who's in here? God, I got to clean that water. Um, what happens is the water is clean in the morning and they walk all over it. So don't shoot me, everybody. Uh, and how about some sulcatas? We got sulcatas. These are uh, beautiful tortoises. And uh, we got to make sure that if you do want a sulcata tortoise, you email me at campkennon at gmail.com. They are um, $85 plus shipping. Shipping is $70 west of the Mississippi, and it is $60 east of Mississippi. You know what? They're, they're now $80, not $85. They're going to be $80, uh, but there they are. They get big. Don't buy one unless you are ready for a big tortoise and you're ready to do something. But I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, an exciting hatching that I have here. Uh, I think it's pretty. And we're going to go inside the good old incubator. Good old sea serpents incubator right here, people. We'll peek in. Nope, not that one. Let's pull this out and gently place it down here. And then I'm going to go ahead and show you. There it is. I'm going to pull these two out, but one is just different. Man. I got to wet them, I think. I should moisten them. Uh, but but look at the, the red legs on this. It's just insane. It's almost, I wouldn't say it's a hypo, but it's pretty close. See the difference? See the legs there? And then you see just how vibrant they are. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna leave you guys. You guys gotta watch this. Watch these two for me, please. I'm gonna go get a spray bottle. Let me just jack this up. Hold on, so you guys can see this. <laughs> Hold on, man. Let me do this, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just more, like, miss them down. Because if I miss them down, you'll see just how awesome the color is. That's it. Let's just get that. Whoa, where are you going? Woohoo! Wow, I just saved him, man. He was almost hightailing it off the bench here, off the table. Holy smokes, dude. I, I told you guys to watch him. 
jeepers, creepers. I'm just gonna gently mist, gently mist. All right, now let's have a look. And you guys can see just how, can we get a focus, my friends? Can we get a focus? There we go, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Pretty stoked, man. So this little guy uh, just looks beautiful. And I'm going to be uh, offering him up for sale soon. But that is a beautiful red foot. And obviously, he's a bit different than this one. So really stoked. So you can see, for those of you guys who are new to turtles, uh, you can see where the yolk sac is here, the one in my right hand. Uh, so that is being absorbed. I don't take them fully out of the... Uh, incubator and set them up until that's fully absorbed. But look at the difference in coloration. And this is from the red foot eggs. Um, just a very, almost like those, um, uh, oh gosh, a few months ago, I had some cherry heads that, that came out just screaming. They were screamers, man. Uh, but look at the difference. Look at this. Really nice shell. Lighter shell, not as dark. Uh, but that's just a Really ridiculously beautiful animal. So I, I wanted to show you guys that. I figured you'd appreciate it. Um, so let's do this. Let's put them back in their little incubator where it's nice and warm. Oh, and then, you know, the other thing, guys, is I'm going to pull another little guy out. Uh, it's, a, it's another red foot, but it's a little bit of a um, little runty red foot. Hold on, let me show you. Little runty red foot. Isn't he cute, though? So he's still unfolding. Uh, I think he was premature. He hatched kind of too early. Um, so he's right there. But he looks good. So I'm going to keep an eye on him. Uh, Easton, you're at school. Well, you're getting schooled. There's some uh, little biology for you. And we're going to start answering uh, questions now. So let's, let's answer questions. I'm going to go back outside, sit down, and relax with you all. I'll answer some questions. And um, this way we can, uh, well, we can... Educate each other, I suppose. Whew, all right, and the rain's calming down too, which is good. Let me flip you guys. Hang tight, don't go anywhere. Uh, Flippity-doo, there we are. Okay, here I am. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's my, my little. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, people. Ah, okay, hello, Gigantor52. Uh, how much are they? Uh, Redfoots are $125 plus shipping. The uh, Screamer, I'm going to hold on to and just see uh, what he turns out because he's so um, colorful and different. Uh, if you're interested in any of my turtles or tortoises, I do have a lot of sulcatas available. They're $80 plus shipping. Go ahead and email me uh, at campcannon at gmail.com with tortoises in the uh, heading price list. I'll send you a price list. Um, the fish are good, Carly. Uh, I can show you the fish. I'm not going to, I'm not going to stick this phone underwater because, uh, it works for what I found out. This is my second iPhone 10. It's waterproof, but not from a, not, I was kind of, I was kind of, uh, abusing the waterproofing. Uh, I was going underwater a lot and finally the phone just died. So we won't be doing any more underwater photography. However, I did buy an underwater case. But I don't want to go through that drama again. So here we go. We'll do it on the GoPros. Uh, so right in there is the pond. I'll, I'll um, maybe throw some fishies. Fish food here. Hold on, guys. It's hard to do with one hand. Please forgive me. Forgive me, everybody. Let's get these fish going. I love them. I just love having this pond with these fish. There's a little turtle. Is that great? So the fish are doing awesome, man. Fish are doing good. You know what? I'm going to go for it. Let's go. Oh, orientation is locked. Um, I was going to do a little donkey, but yeah, maybe not. All right, so there are all the fish. There's the electric blue with that electric blue dorsal stripe. Uh, lots of fish in here, man. Lots of African cichlids. I just got a book on African cichlids. I've been reading up on them, so I'm excited about that. Uh, that's what I do. I like to... I like to learn because obviously I got the fish before I knew too much about them, which sometimes happens. But uh, I'll give me a little while and I'll uh, hopefully become an expert, especially when we meet the king of DIY. I'm excited. Flipping you again, everybody, so I can see all of your cool comments. Uh, how large of an area do you need for redfoots? Two adults would be good in a 10 by 10 area. 
Um, if you're keeping them outdoors, that would be good. Um, if you were to raise them up indoors, I would raise them in nothing less than, you know, you can do a four by three. Uh, you know, we, we have those little hatchling, uh, those hatchling uh, enclosures that would be good for about a year. Um, so, you know, there you go. Uh, Greta Gutierrez, don't worry about being late as long as you made it. Uh, anyway, um, you know, I would just do it like that. Uh, I always think more space for more animals. Uh, so I like, uh, I like to do that. Do I like giraffes? I love giraffes. If it's an animal, I love it, man. Uh, let's see. Um, what else do we got? I do sell turtles. Go to Camp Cannon at Gmail. Email me at campcannon at gmail.com. Right now, I just have a couple of redfoots, a couple of cherry heads, a couple of elongated, and a bunch of sulcatas. But don't buy a sulcata if you ain't got the land or you ain't ready for a big one. Uh, let's see, let's see. Ah, Finny Les. Hey, Kenan, father of turtles, breaker of chains. I'm getting two baby redfoots in Coral Springs. Do I raise them the first year indoor and then move them to my screened-in patio? Why don't you... Listen, if you have a screened-in patio there, buddy, go ahead and raise them out there, man. Tortoises live outside. So as long as they're protected, you keep them indoors so they don't get eaten. You know? You just keep them indoors so they don't get eaten. Uh, what you want to then do is just make sure that there's uh, predator-proof caging, that they don't get uh, rained on uh, too terribly, uh, to where it gets a little too um, a little too wet for them. Uh, what plans do I have for my snake room? Moving the snakes out of it. Right now, the only snakes in there are the dumerels uh, and the conditional species. Um, I've been hinting at it for such a long time that uh, Kyle and I are working on something. I'm sure you guys can guess what it is. Um, you know, we're working on a, uh, a facility uh, that we are going to be able to have people come visit uh, via tours. Um, so those snakes will move over to that facility. All right. So um, I'm not going to do any improvements um, around the camp uh, this year because I'm going to put all we're going to put all our energy into something else. All right. So there you go. Uh, so the snake room will be um, turned into a storage room for my place. I'm coming out to California, Herptal Haven, in July. I'll be out there in July to film. I'm going to hang out with Jay from Prehistoric Pets, amongst other people. Introduce you to some friends of mine that like reptiles, uh, that I knew from the action sports world, uh, and just all around have a good time out there in SoCal. Uh, Camp Kennan here is uh, two and a half acres. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, my Sulcata won't eat dry food. Why? Well, you got to wean them onto it. you got to mix it in with some of the other food. Uh, moisten it and see what you do. Uh, do you want to do a collab with Brian Barczyk and me at the Reptile Zoo in June? Who is that? I don't even know who that is. I don't know you, J-Dog. Uh, I am late. Uh, sorry, gaming squad. Um, partly cloudy in Navarre, Florida. Yeah, uh, mostly cloudy here in Jupiter. So let's answer a few more questions. Do you think a greenhouse is necessary in Germany? Uh, I think Germany gets pretty cold. I've been there in November. I've been to Germany. I've been to Dusseldorf, Berlin, München, and uh, Cologne. And uh, it was pretty cold. So if you're going to do a uh, tropical species, yes, greenhouse would be great if you can afford it. Uh, there you go. Well, going fast, going fast. Uh, Miami coming to Bama. Bama! I've been through Mobile many times. I uh, don't know. I'm not sure. But let's see. How many turtles do I have? Over 200. Uh, let's see. Good turtles and tortoises for California. Any of the Mediterranean uh, tortoise species? Your Rush. Well, they're not really Mediterranean, but Russians, uh, Greeks, Hermans, Marginateds, uh, Egyptians. All those are great uh, because you guys live in a Mediterranean climate. Uh, any water turtles are fine as long as you can keep them in water and you can keep them warm. Uh, let's see. Do I have bearded dragons? No, Scott Rowe, I do not. Uh, can a Russian tortoise survive in Ireland? Not outdoors. I wouldn't do it outdoors. Uh, Mandep Samurai, I'd love to go to Scotland. I'd like to mountain bike in Scotland. I'd like to go up to the highlands and do some mountain biking. Uh, and, uh, would love that. Would love to go to Scotland. Um, let's see, let's see, turtles for Ohio, uh oh, any native species, uh, Slinky is good, uh, let's see, what do you do for baby sulcatas at night that are outside, I'm talking heat, well, if you live somewhere where it gets cold, you really shouldn't have your babies outside, I would bring them indoors, it's easy to pick them right up, pull them inside every night, not a big deal, 
Redfoots are 125. Turtles for Houston, any of the southeastern United States species would do great uh, there. Cooters, map turtles, painted turtles, things of that nature. Uh, how old am I? I am 43 at the moment, but I will be 44 June 13th. Ta-da! Uh, but I am a child at heart. Uh, Indian Python's doing well. Check out Scotty's uh, channel. I pulled it out. Uh, I had a bunch of people, so I wasn't uh, alone when I did it. And I wanted to see how the animal was uh, behaving. Uh, it is moving much better, and uh, it was exciting. So uh, check that out on Scotty Cramner's channel. Uh, let's see, let's see. And uh, I look younger. Well, thank you. I, uh, I try and eat well, don't do any, uh, any drugs, and, uh, you know, I don't drink either. I don't know. I don't know if that ages you or not, but I just don't do it. And I play with turtles, so maybe um, they're, uh, they're rubbing off on me, right? Reptiles are rubbing off on me. So uh, there you go, man. Uh, hope Anastasia's doing well. She was a friend of ours, uh, one of the campers on last week's live. Hope she's feeling better. And, uh, yeah, folks, that's it, man. Just been hanging out. Um, and uh, let me see. Do I smoke? No, don't smoke anything. Never tried any drug of any kind. Uh, I mean, you know, doctors have given me penicillin and stuff. And when I had, like, uh, when I went did surgery, I get the anesthesia. But, um, no, no... Um, no marijuana, no cigarettes, no nicotine. Um, I cut out caffeine, um, trying to cut down on sugars, you know, just uh, proteins and good carbs from veggies. Uh, what else, man? Never tried alcohol. That's not true. I tried alcohol. I was raised Catholic. So when I was seven, uh, I did my communion and I drank the blood of Christ. Ooh. I was a vampire for a little bit. So I did that, and that was the last time I tried uh, any alcohol. So it's just, you know, listen, man, I'm not saying it's, you know, to each their own. I believe in, uh, you know, do your own thing. As long as you're not hurting anybody, uh, that's fine. We're all adults. I would recommend that if you're a young person, stay away from it, because uh, I think uh, all the ingredients to your body are already in you. Uh, you're chemically balanced, and uh, there's a way to tap into... Uh, good vibes just by doing fun stuff. I was fortunate. I love these animals. I like riding bikes And that's as far as I'm gonna go on my little uh, after-school special uh, Just say no to drug speech. Uh, do I fish? No, but I have I don't have a problem with it You know throw them back and if you're not gonna eat them uh, Let's see. Let's see. We have any final questions uh, Now there's other people out there Juan reveal roll that, that don't do drugs. How can I survive without alcohol? I don't know, man. I just never tried it. It's the case of what you don't know, you don't miss. So in that case, for me, ignorance is bliss. I don't know. I uh, just don't do it. Uh, let's see. My oldest pet would be a sulcata tortoise that came into the United States as an adult in 1977. And uh, I got it a few years back. Uh, Kyle's not going to start a YouTube channel, to my knowledge. He and I are pals. We're partners, and uh, we're going to just use this one. Uh, well, how am I doing today? I'm good. Well, whiz whiz. I'm good. Uh, can I take off numbers from tortoises? Huh? I don't know what that is. Uh, Kate is well, Florida iguana. I'm going over there after I wrap up here so I can hang out with the kids. We've got a donation. Uh, someone hooked us up. Thank you. Uh, I don't know how I can see who that was, but thank you. Uh, leopard tortoises are good. I pulled them in, and uh, I'm pretty stoked about that because it was raining. Uh, yes, I have a wa uh, wildlife license. Uh, when am I coming to Myrtle Beach? You know what? I got to come back, Bill. I, I love Myrtle Beach, Ken Alfieri. I love uh, alligator adventures. So there you go. Uh, all right, everyone. There you go. That's going to do it. I am uh, not married, Rosemary, but I have a very nice girlfriend, and uh, I'm sticking with her. Uh, all right. So there you go. We had a fun day. No shout out. Sad. No, I'm so sorry. I'm not going to shout you out now. Just kidding, Cody. There's your shout-out, buddy. Turn that frown upside down. I look kind of like the old-school Joker, the Jack Nicholson type. All right, guys, here's what's going on. I'm going to sign off right now. <laughs> um, anyway, hope you guys all saw, saw – there's my New York accent. Hope you guys saw the uh, Infinity Wars. I really liked it. I'm going to see Deadpool, but, guys, I'm going to see Deadpool. Can you believe this? On Monday because Kate – has the kids this weekend, so we can't go see game. I can't believe it. I have to wait 
Oh, yeah, I look just like Tom Hanks. And I sound like him, too, sometimes, especially when I yell. Um, what's the other thing? Oh, yeah, I got to wait all weekend. So uh, Monday, I'm going to go see Deadpool. Can't believe it. But, guys, thanks so much for joining me. Marcus. Try to pronounce my last name. Marcus. Mjork? How do you say it? I don't know. You got that strange uh, thing in there. I can't. I don't know. It's Greek? Is it Greek? What are you? I don't know. Anyway, there you go, everybody. All right, man, I'm leaving. Thank you for joining me. Just a quick little vid. Just a way to hang out. All right? We'll see you all soon. So long.